So what we're going to look at is the fact that we've got this ring and what's the first thing that's reacting here? pH 3 and THF. But what's important for the mechanism is actually the BH3. We're going to have this bond come down and pick up the H as the boron comes over to this side. So the H and the B have actually added from the same side. So let's bring in our two reagents, hydroxide and H2O2. The hydroxide is going to hit this proton here and then come off and then it's going to form HOO, and what's the charge on this O here? Negative. And also we have water. So what we're going to do here is allow this here to come around and slam into the boron here. Now boron is in what group? Three, right? So if it's in group three, how long do you think this thing wants to have four bonds? Not very long. Now what's attached to the boron now? O, O, H. And the charge on the boron? Negative. So if you think about this, we've got a boron that's negatively charged. And somehow, we got to get this thing to go back to being what? Just having three bonds. This bond here migrates over to the oxygen and releases the OH. So what does it look like now? What's bound to bring down the B or the O? It's bound to the O, which is also still bound to the boron. And the other thing that was up there was, you know, freely floating is the OH minus. So that attacks here and kicks this out. Is there anything floating around that we can use? H2O, of course, right? Water. What's good about it is when we use it, we're going to regenerate the hydroxide. So, if I allow this to come in, pull off the H, right? Got my final product with the hydroxide. That's the worst mechanism you're going to see in this chapter. Let's look at it again. Now, in that first step, when both groups go in from the same side. What, what do you call that? Syn addition. S-Y-N. Syn addition means it comes in from the same side. That's why here I have them drawn on the same side. As opposed to what we're going to see in a minute, with the addition of BR2, where they add from opposite sides. So we first have the syn addition, the BH, and the B. Then we have the reaction of hydroxide and peroxide to form O minus, which attacks the boron. And then this thing that's happening down here, migration where the bond between the carbon and the boron goes over to the oxygen and this replaces hydroxide. Notice how it comes back and frees molecules so in the end when the alkoxide, the O- hits the water we regenerate OH and get our final product. 